Hey guys, I'm Robert and I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Today it's going to be short and sweet. I'm going to show you a little video of me getting to drive the Dallara Stradale on the Verano test track here in Italy. A couple, about a week ago I got a phone call and asked if I'd like to do a full tour of the test facilities, aerodynamics, uh, design, CFD, uh, the sim facilities and the f fabrication. I said, well of course this sounds fantastic and of course that was capped off with the ability to drive the Dallara Stradale which for me was not a huge car that was on my radar. I knew what it was, I knew how it was built, and it just never was something I put a whole lot of research into, and now I'm very glad that I went, I'm very glad that I did this. I'm gonna show you guys a video here in a second. A couple things to keep in mind about this video is this is my fourth lap ever on the Verano uh, racetrack. The first three laps were with a Delara uh, employee or representative with me talking about the car, telling me about the car, and this was my fourth flying lap on my own. Um, I don't do Sims, I don't do Xbox or PlayStation or anything like that, so I don't have any chance to prepare for the, the lap. So what this means is it's a testament to the car that on my fourth lap I'm able to put together a relatively tidy lap and one that was a lot of fun. There's a couple things you'll notice that are pretty, pretty funny. One, my windsock flies off my camera and I'm looking around for it as I come out of one turn, so I do apologize that the, that the audio went even further south. Um, secondly, the clutch is slipping a little bit. This is a test car that's done over 40,000 kilometers with different maps, different load testing and things like that. And again, like I said, I don't really know the track. So anyways, watch the video, check it out. And after that, we'll talk about what the next steps are going to be with this whole program, if you would. So I hope you guys enjoyed that lap. It really is a special car. It's a lot of fun. I think you could see that I, I got to understand it quite quickly and get a feel for it. Um, for me, I think that a professional driver will knock off a couple, several seconds more from a lap in that car, and I could definitely knock another second and a half off if I had more time with the car. Got to know the track a little bit more. There's a couple lines that I'm still working on and getting used to the fluid mo moment, connecting the turns and things like that. But in four laps, I was able to feel very confident with the car. Obviously, as the day went on, I did more laps and I got even more comfortable with the car and enjoyed it more, but it was important for me to show you this from the beginning so you could see it. Our next steps with this, with this program, if you would, are gonna be that I'm gonna compile a video talking about the car from the production, the concept of it, to what it is like to drive. How does it feel? How does the downforce feel? How does the suspension feel? How does the chassis feel just in the normal way that I would do in the way that I uh, conveying in, in the sense of what I like out of a car? What I'd like you guys to do is ask all of the questions that you might have for me. What do you want to know about the car? What do you, do you want to know about the aerodynamics? Do you want to know what it's like driving a 900 kilogram car with over 800 kilograms of downforce? Do you want to know why in the heck they put a Ford motor in what should be considered a supercar class vehicle? Um, these are all the things that I want to answer for you guys and have you guys uh, tell me what you want to know so that I can give you the best possible video. We've got some really cool footage from the um, test facilities, from the uh, production line, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna try and put that together best I can to share with you what my day was like and to talk about what I think is a really cool brand and something that was not on my radar up to this point. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you later.